Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Actually, I had to think about what day it was. Isn't that super scary? Anybody else with me? Anybody else? Okay, I'm trying to get my computer right so I can see your comments. Girls, boys, kids of all ages, are you ready to start our conversation today? Today, we're talking strictly about exfoliation. That's it. The only thing that we're going to talk about. And I was thinking about that because I've had multiple conversations this week about, like, why would you exfoliate? What would you use to exfoliate? What parts of the body to exfoliate? Like all, literally, all things exfoliation, hence the title. So what we're going to do today is break down why you exfoliate, number one. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you. Have you been missing my videos? Um, why you would exfoliate. Number one, you have to get the dead, dry, dull, clogging skin off of your face. So we're, what we're wanting to do is we're, we want to turn over our cells, like, and we want to do it quickly. Instead of that natural process, we're just going to amp it up just a little bit. So we're going to exfoliate, and we got, like I said, a lot of different ways to do that for each skin type. That is a very unique process. We want to also, and this is actually what made me think of it, is I need to use satin lips today, and we're going to talk about satin lips. I really need to use satin lips because my skin is it's really dry. It's starting to flake right there on my lips, and it drives me crazy. And then I pick at it, which is what caused it to begin with, and, and all of that. Well, you can put as much lip balm on your lips as you want, but if you're not exfoliating, then it's not going anywhere. You're not penetrating down to the skin, so it's not effective. That's it. And so I was thinking about that for my lips, and I thought, well, isn't that right for absolutely every part of your body? So I was thinking also, um, my the back of my heels are pretty callous, and even though I just got a pedicure, bleh, so they need to do that a little bit better, but, you know, that's side point. But I can't get that moisturized enough because the calluses are still there. You have to exfoliate, remove that dead skin, and then the moisturizers, the hydrators, all of those things can go deeper into our skin. So that's why we exfoliate. It's a very important part. And I was actually doing a little bit of research of how old, how old should you exfoliate? How old should you start? And it said, if you started exfoliating in your 20s, you're too late. And I was like, yep. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that me and Google were on the same page here. And we are. Uh, so like teens is really when you want to start that exfoliation process. Okay, and I got a special product for them as well. So the first thing, let's, well, let's just talk about satin lips since it's in my hand. So satin lips right here, we're exfoliating the lip area only. That's it. On the lips, around your lips, little blackheads, open these up a little bit, get those cleaned out. We're just taking that dead, dry skin off of our lips. Use it a couple times a week. It's a sugar scrub. It's new. If you haven't used it in the last couple of years, it's definitely changed and it's really, really wonderful. You actually taste like, like cupcakes is what some people say. I don't know why you're eating it. Don't eat it. I personally have never eaten my satin lips, but people do. So try it. It's like cupcakes, apparently. Sugar scrub. So that, and so then you can put your balm on. So whether it's satin lip balm, which is a butter balm, or like I love the Naturally Line moisturizing stick. So I use that. But in order for those things to be effective, once again, you've got to exfoliate. Okay, that's number one. Number two, one of my personal faves, let me show you her, Satin Body Moisturizing Shea Scrub. Now, why do you want to scrub your body? Why do you want to exfoliate your body? Same thing. You put moisturizer every day, and it can't get effective. It can't really get in there if you don't exfoliate properly. So exfoliate, exfoliate, all of the things. But what I really like is those little weird hair follicles back behind and they get all plugged up and then they're bumpy and I've had them forever. It gets rid of them completely and totally. The Shea Scrub is amazing. And uh, Shelby, can we talk about them? So those of you who are not Kansas City people, I know, you know, we go global around here. If you need a team this weekend, we welcome you to join the bandwagon. You're officially invited. Okay. Aren't they pretty though? I love them. Okay, so for that's for body. Now, hands and feet specifically. This is going to be your satin, satin hand scrub. Great for your heels. Great for your feet. 
Um, it really, it's a cleanser as well. So this is by, I actually just grabbed this from my sink. It's even in every sink at my house because it really is the best. Because the back of your hands, it just gets, it, they look dull. It's actually one of the very first places you're going to show your age is right here and right here. They do not lie. They do not lie. They do not lie. So we're going to need to take care of them. You're putting hand lotion on all the time because of the hand sanitizer and all of that. Make sure you're exfoliating. Best product for that. Okay, now let's go to my favorite topic, which is the face. Because girls, boys, this is the money maker, right? You got to keep this fresh. You got to keep this young. You got to keep this healthy. So let's start with our teen years. We've got two options for teens. This is when we need to start exfoliating. We gotta get them in great habits early on. We've got our Mary Kay Botanical Effects. Isn't she cute? And that's just gonna be a nice, gentle exfoliator. A couple times a week, maybe every day, but just gentle. Use water on that. Just a very nice, gentle exfoliator. Perfect for that young skin. Now, another thing that I am like super duper obsessed with is our Naturally Line Exfoliating Powder. Now, let me tell you about this. It's basically rice, starch, and citric acid. And so what it's doing is a very, very gentle, but effective exfoliating. It has that like cornstarch feel to it. And because this is part of our Naturally Line, let me make sure I tell you, if you are into all things naturally, we have a cleanser, an exfoliating powder, a nourishing oil, I told you already that smells like heaven. And then we have the moisturizing stick, which is what I love for my lips. It can be used as a moisturizer on your face as well. But they're all paraben free, phthalate free, synthetic fragrance free, synthetic dye free, SLS, LSES free. If that is important to you, and I know it is to so many of us, this whole line will take care of you. Okay, so that is your, what I really like with this is I love to put a little bit in my naturally cleanser. And so it's an exfoliator in your cleanser, which is, you know, max, maximum effectiveness. You get your bang for your buck. If you're going to spend time and money doing something, make sure it does all of the things. Okay, next products. Now we're getting like, where we're like my, my jam here. Four-in-one cleanser, time-wise. Here is your daily exfoliator. Just something to just that maintenance of exfoliating. The 4-in-1 cleanser has a skin brightener in it. It takes off all your dirt and oil, all of your makeup. It exfoliates your skin and cleanses your skin. So what bang for your buck, this is the bang for the buck. And it comes in combination to oily and normal to dry skin. Do you not love them? Do you not love these girls right here? I guess if one could be a boy. Nah, they're girls. Okay, time-wise, microdermabrasion. I mean, this has been a love of my life for like, I don't know, 16 years since it came, since we came out with this. This is alumina oxide crystals. This is going to be a physical exfoliator. This is best for normal to oily skin. My dry skin girls can use it, but not as frequently. I really like this for unclogging pores, texture of skin, bumpiness of skin, glowiness of skin, blackheads, acne scarring. I mean, this is the stuff that, okay, don't laugh at me, but also tell me if you're with me on this. Did anybody use apricot scrub when they were growing up? Like, like basically scratching your skin everywhere. It's really abrasive. Well, this is abrasive, but it's round. Alumina oxide crystals are buffing agents. They're not scraping, exfoliating. They're buffing. So it feels amazing. It's like a little sand facial <laughs> that's anti-aging. I mean, you can't beat it right there. So time-wise, microdermabrasion. Us oily girls, we can use it a lot more frequently than our dry, dry girl counterparts can. And I keep saying girls, but boys, I mean, I don't have a ton of boys on my Facebook, but if you're watching, please do know that I'm talking about you too. Did you know that shaving is exfoliation? Though it, if you really want it to be more effective, you exfoliate and cleanse before you shave. Isn't that interesting? But exfoliation, um, shaving is exfoliation, just so you know. Microderm, one of the greatest loves of our life. Now, this is the greatest love. This microderm was one of them, but this, my friends, Radiance Facial Peel. I could sing a song about her 
Oh, Radiance Facial Peel, I love you so much. You are my most favorite product because you make me look young and fabulous. See, I didn't even prepare it for you, but that's how much I feel about this baby girl. So if you have sensitive skin, if you are into super duper anti-aging, if you have dry skin, if you, um, if you just want the best of the best, you want a glycolic acid peel. It doesn't actually peel. You don't peel. I don't know why it's called that way, but it kind of looks like you peel because it, every time you use it, it gives that radiant facial glow in 10 minutes. It's a cream. So there's nothing physical about it. That's why it's really good for sensitive girls and for, um, dry skin because of that chemical nature of the exfoliation it's going to be much more effective for you because it's not going to irritate your skin at all <sighs> she's the best i used to get chemical peels once a month did for years and years and years and i haven't gotten one since we got this product and that's been i don't know three or four years have we had radiance facial peel that's why it's my favorite in our entire line this product wins over and over and over again because we spend money on these serums and these moisturizers and the vitamin C plus E. If you have not spent money on that yet, please do that. But we want all this stuff, except it, it can't get through unless we're sloughing off all of that dead, dull skin. Okay, I think that's my song and dance about exfoliation. It is just so important. So find the pieces that you need. Oh, one more thing. Our, our Sonic um, Cleaning Agent, also an exfoliator as well. So that's a great daily exfoliator. Okay. Oh, Caitlin, chemical peels work. With this baby, you don't, I promise you don't need them. I have not gotten one since, and I was faithful for a month, and I look like a crazy person for a week. A week, a month. You don't need them with this. It's just the best. Okay, I hope you guys learned something share away uh, comment below i'll come back and answer some questions for you but thank you for joining me i have missed you guys hope you have a wonderful day and a